part of me, it's not this is what I do, but this is who I am. So I am a minister, I am an author, I am a coach, I am a trainer, so these are all the things that I am. Uh, in the back of the book you'll find there's a place for you to journal. I give my own testimony about what I've learned and then uh, it gives you an opportunity to share what you've learned. And there will be a journal. So the reason I, wa I wanted you guys here was I'm revealing my next uh, book. Ooh, Shama. So uh, we're, we're promoting this one. I'm doing other book signings and things. But the next book, where's my brother? Can you come up here? I need my brother and my sister visible. And um, my next book cover, let me tell you a little bit about it. When I was little, uh, me and my dad were roadies. I mean, I did everything with my father. People used to think, because they're, they're so much older than me. Uh, <laughs> not that much. But uh, my brother and I, Gardis, people used to think that we were the only two. I was always with my father. And uh, so my next book, and some people have heard a little bit of my testimony about my journey with my father. And uh, through the permission of my mother, she, you did hear me, right? With the permission of my mother, she has okayed me to write my story, of my story with my father. And uh, just even a plan of how to strategically roll that out with family uh, across the country. So this is my next book. And this will be the cover, My Daddy's Demons. The sins of my father came upon me. So I used to say that I feel like so many of my father's struggles were mine. And I didn't feel like necessarily my siblings faced the same struggles that I faced. And I felt like... Take your time, baby. Take your time. All of his struggles were mine. So... I started this book probably about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. And I remember um, going to my pastor and telling him, and I said, when I go home for Thanksgiving, I'm going to let my family know that God has started allowing me to use my testimony in ministry. And I, I never wanted my family to be blindsided by anything. And definitely not my mother. And so I, um, I shared it with them and then God started having me write. About seven years ago, I put it down. I put it down. It was too hard for me to write. And it was too hard for me to write because I got a place, got to a place in the book that I felt sorry for my father. I felt sorry for him. Because I remember Pastor Hill saying, he has the testimony about someone telling him about his father. You can't fought them for what they didn't know. You can't blame them for what they didn't know. They didn't know any better. And Jesus said, had they known, they would not have lifted me up. Yes. And so it's about the things that you must need go through. It's going through Samaria. I must need go through Samaria. Jesus didn't have to go to Samaria and meet that woman at the well, but he told his disciples, I must need go through Samaria. I have to do this. I Jesus said he had to go through everything he had to go through. Everything I've gone through, all things work together for good for them who love God and are called according to his purpose. Quit quoting that scripture, all things work together for good, and not saying the rest of it. Because right, right. if you don't love God and you ain't called according to his purpose, it ain't going to work together for your good. You just in trouble and mad and frustrated and need to buy the first book called Wait. Okay, to God. So, um, this, is, this is that book, and it is absolutely um, now a joy to write our father was funny. He made candy. Who makes candy? <laughs> he used to make candy, but he had his own set of struggles. Amen. As we all do. And uh, as and in that generation, uh, they did. Um, 
but he knew to be a provider, he knew to protect, he knew the things that most men know to do coming into the world, but he still had his own struggles. And so the scripture says that the sins of the father have come upon their children and will put their teeth, the children's teeth on edge to the third and fourth generation. And so a part of me writing this book is breaking the generational things that put the children's teeth on edge, even though God is not allowed me to birth my own, uh, I still uh, declare that my nieces and my great nieces and my nephews will not, yes. will not. And so it will be a generational curse breaking, delivering, set you free, yes. cry, praise God yes. book. Because despite it all, I still love my father. He's been gone 30 years, 30 years, and I've forgiven him. I've forgiven him. And that's my journey. So I couldn't get to finishing until I had forgiven. Amen. Right. Totally could not get to writing this book until I had forgiven. Amen. So look for it on a stand near you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. where the uh, Father Lost Form was birthed out of this book. The Father Lost Form that I do uh, to bring men together with other men to talk about their father's struggles and women together with women to talk about um, their father's struggles. So that was also a part of that book. So. Thank you, Sissy. I love you.